congrats on your new ride. This video will show you how to assemble the Swift BMX e-bike. We recommend getting a friend to lend a hand as you go along for extra support. Carefully lift the bike out of the box and stand it upright in a clear working space. Remove additional bike parts and smaller boxes from inside the package and place them on the ground in your work area. Now you're ready to get started. To attach and adjust your handlebars, start by removing the screws holding the handlebar bracket in place and set them aside. Then center your handlebar in the bracket, ensuring the cables are in front of your handlebar and your display is on the left grip. Replace handlebar bracket and tighten screws in an X pattern. Ensure your handlebar bracket is facing forward and tighten the stem cap at the top of the handlebar stem. Then remove the rubber caps from your handlebar clamp and set them aside. Ensure your handlebar is centered and facing forward, aligned with your front and rear tire. Twist to align if necessary. Tighten the stem side screws and hold your stem cap in place. Do not over tighten as you will need to align your handlebars after assembly. Finally, replace rubber caps on the stem side screws. To attach your front wheel, begin by locating your front wheel and loosening the outside wheel nut and retainer as shown. Lift your e-bike and slide your front wheel into the fork. Ensure your fork is facing forward. Turn it 180 degrees if it does not fit and try again. Your tire tread should appear as shown when you are facing your e-bike. Hook your wheel retainer into the front fork as shown. Tighten the exterior hex nut and secure your front wheel in place. To adjust your saddle, first insert your seat post into the seat stem to your desired height. Lightly greasing the seat post is recommended before installing it into the frame. Tighten the seat clamp using the included Allen wrench. When you attach your pedals, start by taking the left pedal, marked L, and turning it counterclockwise, and tighten with a wrench. If not done correctly, you may strip and damage your pedals. Next, attach your right pedal, marked R, by turning it clockwise. Attach your foot pegs by screwing them clockwise to your front and rear wheels. Insert the Allen key into the hole on the foot pegs. This will allow you leverage to finish tightening to the proper tension. To attach your seat reflector, Place it beneath your seat with the reflector facing your back tire. Tighten with a screwdriver. Make sure your reflector is facing 90 degrees so that it can reflect light properly. Be careful not to over tighten the screw to prevent damaging the reflector clamp. Attach your front reflector on your handlebar with the reflector facing forward. Tighten with a screwdriver. Be careful not to over tighten the screw to prevent damaging the reflector clamp. Using a tire pressure gauge, check your tire pressure before riding. The correct PSI should be 40 PSI for the BMX e-bike. 
After reading through the pre-ride checklist included in your manual and ensuring that the bike parts are securely fastened and adjusted, including your handlebars, brakes, and pedals, you're almost ready to hit the road. But first, be sure to scan the QR code in your operation manual to register your e-bike and activate your warranty. If you have any questions, reach out to our support team at hello at rideswft.com. We're here to help.